Hi everyone, welcome to our Draw with Pixar series. My name is Benjamin Sue. I've been an animator at Pixar for over 10 years now. Uh, some of the movies I've worked on include Coco, Inside Out, Toy Story 3 and 4, and our latest movie, Onward. Um, today, we're going to be drawing the aliens from Toy Story. Enjoy! So the alien's head is in oval shape. Uh, notice I'm drawing very lightly until I get the shape that I like. You don't need to get it perfect the first time. Just got to make sure you sketch very lightly. Um, I'm going to add a little guideline from centering from the head to the body. Um, so I know how to center the belt later on when I divide the feet. Um, the body is kind of an upside down triangle. Um, now I'm going to line up the, the belt buckle. And I know where to put the feet because of my guideline that I put down a little earlier. The feet are sort of half circles. Um, let's do the eye guideline, which is which allows me to line up the eyes properly along the face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add three circles for the eyeballs. And inside, we'll add the iris. And uh, I'm gonna shade these in. Go ahead and darken the lines. Um, another one, just want to keep the shading consistent so one's not too darker than the other. You can go ahead and darken the lines around the eyes once you're comfortable with the shape. Um, it's funny, circles are actually not easy to do. <laughs> you can never get it perfect the first time. Um, so I'm going to give them a nice wide smile. And then I'm going to add a little circle in the middle. Um, that circle is for when he has his woo mouth shape. I'm going to shade that in there. Give him a little bottom lip. Um, yeah, let me just darken up the headlines a little bit here. Uh, his ears are basic tri triangular shapes, um, but they curve as we taper to the top point as well as the bottom. Um, I'm going to add a little line inside it which kind of shows you the ear fold. And let's add his little uh, antenna on top here. Yeah, so he's, he's also got a little neck brace. Can't forget to put that in there. Connects his head to his body. Next, the arms and hand. Um, think of the arm as a rubbery cylinder and the hand as a circle. Once you do the circle, you can just start adding the fingers on top of it. I think he's got three fingers on each hand. Darken up the lines a little bit so you can see a little better. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to do the belt. Darken up those lines. Um, the other arm is the same principle. Uh, the rubbery cylinder shape uh, tapers up a little bit and circle for the hand. And then we add these little cute stubby fingers on top. Add that little line inside for his palm. Yeah, so now all the basic shapes are all there now. I can go in and start tightening up all my lines, um, making them a little darker so they stand out a little bit more. Do that for the feet. Make sure we 
tighten those lines up. Shade those feet in. We can add some shading for the belt as well. Yeah, shade the side of his head. Make it a little bit more three-dimensional. And the inside of his ears. The arms as well. Um, just adding a little shadow uh, underneath his feet to make him feel more grounded. Yeah, um, you can spend a while going over your lines, making everything a little bit darker. Um, but I'm going to stop right here. Make sure you don't forget to sign your name. Thanks so much for drawing along with me. Hope you guys had fun. Feel free to share your drawings that you created using the hashtag drawwithpixar. And uh, hope everyone's staying safe and I'll see you guys next time.